In this video I'm going to show you how to do curved walls and curtain systems. And so basically what you need to do is you're going to need to go to your massing and sight tool here. Ensure that your show massing and sight is on, like that. And then just go into your in place mass. I'm just going to leave it in place mass for one for now and just make sure you're on the bottom level. In this case I put three levels so I'm going to start on level one and just show you from there. I'm going to do a square. So, oh. And then go to level two. Do another square. And just lay it on the exact same plus place it is from the previous level. And on level three I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay, now I'm going to go to the 3D view, click on all three of these layers, one, two, and three, and say create solid form. The interesting thing now is I could actually go and grab a particular piece of this model, like that, and rotate it or whatever it might be that I would like to do to it and spin it around like this interesting form, nothing I actually like to use I just want to show you what is possible but I'm just going to finish the mass for now and so you can understand what, what is possible on this and finish now you've got this weirdly shaped form but what you could now do is apply a wall to it or a curtain system. A curtain system is basically a curtain wall but it will be, be able to be applied to such a weird shape. So basically if you want to apply a wall to it, I'll go to wall, wall by face and then you just choose your wall that you'd like to use. In this case it's the 110 plus the brickwork and I can just click on the wall and there you go. You can just see that in color. You can just put on the shaded, and that's what it looks like. And if you want to do a curtain system, you don't use the curtain walls that are in the walls thing. You actually have to go into the architecture tool over here, and then go to curtain system, and you just choose the wall that you'd like to use. Just for instance, I'm going to use this one, and this one create system. I'd actually prefer to make a lower system than that, so maybe it's 400 by 400, click on it, in this case, I want that to be 400 by 400, and there you go. So we're going to change that, there you go. And done. And what I want to do now is just apply that with millions. And all I have to do is click on all of them, and that little trick is done. Should save you a lot of time. Very interesting thing. Not necessarily something I want to do in any project, but it is just basically the principle of what you can can achieve on Revit. Yeah, if you can't find what I found um, to make this 400 by 400, um, let me just take you through it and actually show you how to get that. Uh, so just tab through this until you actually select the curtain wall. And that's it. So there we go, curtain system. Um, as you can see, you'd, you'd end up generally with just the curtain system with nothing. What is this going to show you now? This is quite ugly. And if you actually want to change that, you can just go into the edit type. You know, duplicate. And just type in whatever number. So 500 by 500 in this case. Let's try that. OK. And then you could just go in and start editing your grid. So we just want to fix distance and then a fixed distance. You can just type in 500. 
by 500 and say OK. And then it will apply itself like that. And then just reapply the mullions on all grid and mullions will just be reapplied. And don't forget to either delete this massing model or hide it. Deleting is easy, just press delete on the keyboard. Or the other way would just be to click on it and right click and press hide element. Then you've got your model 